Hi guys, uh, as you know it's my birthday today and uh, those wonderful people at Valve have uh, given me a pretty nice birthday gift in the form of Portal 2 DLC. Um, I've been waiting for this, this, this DLC for I have no idea how long now, like since the end of last year I think. Um, I've been super psyched because um, it's it's basically a community test chamber creation editor program. Um, it allows you to create test chambers. Yeah. Um, now I this is just some really crappy test chamber I'm working on at the moment. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean the original dev sort of dev kit, I guess, as you could call it. I don't really know what it's called. Level editor. It's pretty difficult to use. I tried using it and I was completely like, I have no idea what the hell I was doing. Um, so I basically gave up, you know. But when I entered, started downloading that that level editor, I, was, I, I had these ideas in my head about making my own puzzles and, you know, really, you know, bringing something to the community and pretty much making a, the playability of uh, of Portal 2 increase because um, after you've completed the the main storyline it gets a bit it gets a bit repetitive well obviously it will because there's nothing new but what this does is it allows you to create your own puzzles very very simply um, it's a very powerful tool um, basically you can just select around things select entities add entities or whatever you want items um, and connect them very simply. Um, you can just you can just right click certain things, um, and you can make them portable surfaces. So you can make them portable or non-portable, portable, portable. <laughs> you can connect doors to certain to certain. Uh, so you can start them open or start them closed. Connect them to um, different switches and things. If you have a switch in the in the uh, world, you can connect them quite simply. Just you connect and you connect it to something, whatever it might be. So you connect it to uh, connect it to uh, these lasers here and stuff like that. Um, but it's very very simple. Now this is something that you know I just slapped together, trying to figure out how to use everything, and it's it's very easy to use. Um, there's no real puzzle to this at all at the moment. Um, it's basically I'm um, slapping some stuff down, um, trying to make things work. Um, there's nothing really to it. Um, but yeah, let, should we just jump in and, and have a look and see how everything works? Um, if I should remember, build and play puzzle, there we go. And I'm in. Well, uh, naturally, you gotta, you gotta start with a companion cube. I mean, I mean, come on. You've gotta start with a companion cube. Um, but this is something quite funny. Um, you're not you're not playing a shell this time. You're, you're playing you're playing as um as a little uh, little stick man. Well, it's not really a stick man. It's more like a paper man. Yeah, it's my little paper man. So let's just uh, complete my insanely difficult puzzle. It's insanely difficult. It's probably not even possible. Um, let's just... Which way am I looking? At? Oh, 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 no, this is bad. This is very bad. Oof. 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 Okay. I made it. I did! So, the, placing the button on there destroys those two turrets and allows me to walk back again. Isn't that just ingenious? I think it is. You would have never thought figured that out, would you? No, you wouldn't. And this is my grand finale. Oh my gosh, look at this amazing, like, wow. That is just the hardest puzzle in the world ever. That's me completing my puzzle. Wow. But yeah, I don't exactly want to restart, so um, let's exit back to edit again. And um, basically, the way you know you can put things on, if I just uh, like bouncy gel, 
bit of bouncy out on the floor. Now it comes with an emitter. You can actually just get rid of the emitter if you really want to by just deleting it. Um, and you can stretch and you can move it around, I think. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, you can, that's, just, that's moving it around. Okay, cool. I'm not sure if you can... Can you, like, spread it all over the floor? Probably not. I think you got to let... Like, spread it around yourself. If you so want to. Um, but yeah, you can, like, put hazards around. Wow, you can just create the entire thing as a hazard. Oh dear. So if I was to like... If I was to like stretch this along, let's just... And let's just drag that down. So it's this simple. It's this simple. It's really easy. And then I could grab that and I could make that a dangerous thing. Super dangerous, you see? Super dangerous. In fact, I could probably make it even more dangerous, like... If I just... Rise this up a bit, you know? Yeah, you know, make... Make little portly areas up there and stuff. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing at the moment, I'm just like, messing around. But you can just see how easy it is to extrude to you know, make make longer, to make shorter, just, I mean, what I would like to see, and hopefully, hopefully they'll add some sort of um, more cosmetic sort of things, because I'd love to make a an olden time sort of 70s style aperture test chamber, that would be amazing. But they all seem to be pretty much um, standard sort of test chambers um, at the moment. Um, but yeah, you can like, you can like, uh, add flippy tiles and everything else. But you can just see how easy it is to make, to make, um, make the maps now. Really is easy. And, uh, it basically means that any Joe Blogs can put their, their input into the, into the, uh, into the game and try their hand at creating their own puzzles. Hopefully there should be some really good ones coming from this, because it means that I can finally make my own maps. So you'll be seeing some Zerain Gaming Portal 2 maps soon, probably, um, as a result of this amazing DLC. Probably my best birthday gift. Um, so thank you very much, Valve. I know it was obviously for me. It was obviously meant just for me. But you know what? I'm going to share it with the world, because I like you a lot. So this is my little quickie video of this DLC. Hopefully you enjoy it if you have Portal 2. It is perhaps the best, if not one of the best. Peer review is quite good, actually, I'm, I'm going to say. Peer review is quite good. But um, it's, it's definitely a, a very good um, DLC. Perhaps one of the best I've seen from a game. And it's free. The best price in the world. So, uh, thanks for listening, guys. See you around.